Hello and welcome. In this video I'll be taking a look at the Community A4 Skyhawk and this will be a tutorial for the AIM-9 Sidewinder uh, as well as the um, internal 20mm cannons and the um, high, uh, high performance external gun pods. So um, I've got a, an A4 on the apron here as you can see I've already got it loaded with the um, the high performance external uh, gun pods here a uh, bit beasty and I've also got it armed with two AIM 9s I've got it, uh, currently got it armed with the P5 variant but I think I'll change that to the more primitive B variant now we'll start with the AIM 9s and then we'll go on to the uh, the cannons afterwards um, so just to give you a bit of a rundown on the the old AIM-9 here um, it has a, a seeker head that's caged um, and is um, it, while in flight currently um, caged to where the nose is pointing um, and until a uh, an infrared si uh, signature has been detected um, that um, seek head will stay caged. Once the uh, infrared signature has been detected it will unlock and it will have some variable degree of movement um, in all directions um, and will, will um, be capable of firing off bore sight from the aircraft uh, again to a certain degree. Um, nothing spectacular but um, makes life a little bit easier, you don't have to be flying straight and level with it like a Soviet aircraft would be with the with their primitive um, infrared uh, missiles from the early Cold War and um, there'll be, uh, obviously if you know of the AIM-9 um, it will growl in your ear until um, there is a, a target that's been detected and then that pitch will go to a high high frequency pitch and that will let you know that uh, the missile is ready to fire so um, that's about it for the, oh, apart from um, has about uh, about maximum range of about 8 miles so it would be interesting to see um, because there are no um, ways of letting you know inside the cockpit just how far away the target is from you so you have to use the mark 1 eyeball and your best judgment to um, know when to release the weapon um, and not waste it so um, I think that's the uh, the aim 9 pretty much covered and with the um, uh, high, per high performance uh, external gun pods uh, uh, these contain 20mm uh, cannons pretty much the same as what's um, stored on the either side of the fuselage in the wing route uh, of the aircraft um, or apart from obviously these are in pods uh, and can be removed um, and I'll be giving some stats on speeds um, degrees of dive and degrees of depression for the gun sight and at what altitude uh, to release uh, your um, bullets from. So um, let's get into the aircraft and uh, do some practical. Okay so I've got a couple of MiG-29s on my nose here and um, I've got my pylons selected uh, here, pylons 1 and 5. Uh, I've rotated the um, selector to bombs and GM arm um, now all I need to do now is to um, arm, flick on the master arm and I can fire the missiles. Now um, when I do flick the master arm on all you're going to hear is a growl. I don't think you're going to hear much of my voice which usually is a good thing. Um, but I'll, what I'll do first is to um, show you the um, degree off ball sight. Um, it will go before um, lock is uh, disengaged and then what I'll do is I'll come back in again and um, well 
fire the missile. So we'll, we'll uh, go to Monster Arm. Okay, and uh, got Mig 29 just down here, and we want to get him just. Well, maybe not. The um, seeker heads picked that up already. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come off all site. As you can see, he's in a panic. He's lit his afterburner. Okay, and now we have lost lock. So bring that back on again. Okay, and we'll just drop the nose slightly. We've still got lock. Still have lock. There we go. As you can see, it's got quite a quite a degree. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fire one off. Fox two. See if I can get his friend. If I can find him. Aha, there he is. Signature. No, as we are at a bit of a funny angle. There we go. Fox 2. Boom. Okay, so that's the uh, AIM 9s. Uh, quite simple, uh, getting close and um, do stuff. So, onto the internal cannons and high performance uh, external gun pots. So, next we're going to be firing our internal 20mm cannons as well as our 20mm high performance external gun pots. Now, to do that, we're going to select uh, pylons 2, 3, and 4. Uh, we're going to come over here in front of the throttles. We're going to select, uh, we're going to left click all three of those uh, as we want to. Um, make them ready and then we're going to want to right click that to charge um, and then flick that to master arm on now those gun pods are ready to go but we're also going to um, select our internal 20mm cannons so we'll flick that on as well and to fire these obviously the same as the AIM 9s we'll be using our trigger so whatever you set trigger to um, now some, for some stats for release of these um, bullets basically um, I'll put some stats up here so um, at 400 knots at 1000 feet you want to be pulling a negative 10 degree dive and zero depression uh, on the uh, selector here um, so traveling 400 knots try and maintain that speed um, doesn't mean you have to go in at a thousand knots it's telling you that's when the trigger needs to be pulled um, so I'll repeat that again 400 knots um, at 1000 feet negative 10 dive zero depression on the uh, adjuster here if you were to do the same at 400 knots in a negative 10 dive but at 2000 feet so releasing or pulling the trigger at 2000 feet you want a 17 degree uh, depression here um, just so that it, it aligns the gun sight um, properly with where the bullets are basically going to land and then lastly um, these are my three um, go-to ones basically 
and the last one is 450 knots at 1500 feet negative 20 degree dive at zero degrees of depression so they're pretty simple I mean the only one we're going to be fiddling with that one is at 400 knots at 2000 feet negative 10 um, but I, the, I don't really need to show you that because it's basically simple enough you just rotate that till it gets to about 17 degrees and you're ready to go um, I like to dive in at around about 4,000 feet um, I mean you can do whatever's more comfortable for you but you but to remember that the the um, the height of which I've given you there is for the release or the um, pull of the trigger not what height to go in at so um, I'm just going to show you the 400 knots at 1000 feet negative 10 so let's get going uh, oh and just just to pre-warn you there is a hell of a kick to the um, the cannons when they go off your nose will dip considerably so just just to be wary of that okay so again got to try and keep the speed at a constant 400 knots 10 degrees nose down which I'm at there and thereabouts and almost ready to release oh. I'll be honest I'm lucky to get out there alive um, as you can see considerable dip to the nose there when you pull the trigger um, I want to try my luck again uh, I think I'm going to be pushing it <sighs> but as this is not real life and I can just reset why not get ready for a spectacular fail altitude I'm at 4000 ok keep that at 4000 ok slightly lower than 4000 now Ok, so we want a negative 10 again, so negative 10, bring that in slightly, and 400 knots, almost at 1000 feet, and go. Oh, 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 oh my god, how did I not crash that? And a blackout to go with it. Ok, um... Yeah, I think I've pushed it enough for one video. Um, anyway, I hope that helped. Um, and um, as always, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you in the next one.